Welcome back guys, thanks for joining us for another beer review, or in this case a re-review. Uh, what we've got coming up is a re-review of Hasaroda for the Perfect Draft Pro. Now, I may well have done this at some point, but I don't think it was consciously in my mind. Uh, but I've been talking to my mate Paul from Paul T's Beer Reviews, uh, and he recommended that I do this video, so I'm going to do it. Uh, quickly before we get going, if you've not subscribed to Paul T Beer Reviews, go and give him some support. Beer reviews, food reviews, out and about reviews, live streams. He's live this afternoon for the final game of the season, so go and pop on there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of banter, plenty of beer drunk, and uh, probably no doubt plenty of abuse from certain fans of different teams. So uh, yeah, go and check him out. So that's a quick shout out to me old mate Paul. So yeah, like I say, he's recommended that I do a re-review of Hasaroda on the Perfect Draft Pro because when I did review it, I'd done it on the normal Perfect Draft at three degrees. Obviously with the Pro, you can change the, the temperature. He's re-reviewed it at naught degrees, which I've not watched yet. Uh, my keg went in yesterday and I think at the time it was still at three degrees or something. The temp hadn't dropped and I never actually, I, by the time I'd had a couple of beers out of it, I still don't think the temp had got down or something, but I can't remember anyway, but I, I haven't had one at one degrees yet. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so yeah, mine's set at one. So I won't do a video of the pour, but I'm gonna pour one. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see how much different this Hasaroda is on the Perfect Draft Pro at a lower temperature. So uh, let's get cracking. Right, here we are, beer in a glass. Me mate's just cropped up actually, I'll get rid of him, I'll kick him up, oh hang on, the wrong way, get away Paul. Inter interrupting my videos that I'm trying to do. So beer in a glass, I don't have a Hasaroda glass, so it's in a, it's in a Bex glass. Uh, gentle carbonation going up. Uh, not a huge head on it to be honest, it's just a, sort of like half a finger a head, nice golden colour. You can see that, I don't need to tell you this. Incidentally, it's a German Pilsner coming in at 4.9%. I think it is 31.50 or 32.50 off Beer beer Hawk. Yeah, Beer Hawk, I nearly said Beer Wolf then. Off Beer Hawk, a uh, bit of an unsung hero on the perfect draft for me. So, I thought it was really good at three degrees when I first originally drunk it uh, on the PD, original PD, which is going back nearly two years ago now, maybe two years since I reviewed it. So be interesting to see what it's like now at one degree. So let's give it a crack. I might, I'll go in with the nose as well, actually. Yeah, you still get that sort of little bit of lemon, little bit of spiciness on the nose. It smells very clean and crisp as well. You maybe lose a little bit of that malt aroma being lower, but but I don't think it's really changed much on the nose. Still smells good. Smells like a really good Pilsner, actually. If anything, possibly smells even better. So, I've got to get rid of him again. Paul, go away for a minute. <laughs> right, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Paul. Oh, wow. That is even better. That is better colder. For me, I won't do the full the full review thing because we all know what it's pretty much going to be like, but having it colder, it's super clean, super crisp. Super refreshing. And tastes just as good, if not better. It really does. Uh, you maybe, you still get a bit of that maltiness in the taste, but I think you maybe do lose a touch of that. But I would say you pick more lemon up in this. You get more of that sort of hoppy, spicy, sort of peppery crispness to it. Super drinkable. I mean, if I open the curtain, turn the camera around, it's a grey day, it's not particularly warm, but even now, that is still really tasty. Uh, and it's better. It really is better at a lower temperature. So for me, I mean, all this does is, 
it just confirms how good the Perfect Draft Pro is having that temperature control. Yeah, it's still basically the same system. The beer is still basically going to be the same. But you can experiment with this with with, uh, with the temperature control now being from 0 to 12 degrees. There is so much scope to change the flavours in a beer almost uh, or improve them. And with Hasaroda, it definitely works when it's colder. Uh, I think this is actually better. I think this is a better beer at a lower temp. And yeah, summer months, you know, when I finally get down my stash of beer, if I need another lager, I think Asaroda's gonna have to go on there because it's a bargain as well. It's a, it's a decent price. So uh, yeah, for me, Hasaroda on the Perfect Draft Pro at one degree is absolutely fantastic comes across a much better beer in my opinion so that's it for my my re-review of Hasaroda if you're thinking of getting a perfect draft pro I highly recommend it uh, I know not everyone's going to go out and spend the money again but that temperature control is a game changer for me uh, and it, it, it's the beer is just even better so I'm going to end it there talking shit Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, go and check out Paul T Beer Reviews. Uh, and I will see you again soon on another one. Cheers.